Okay, hi everyone. Thank you all for joining. My name is Lian. Uh, for the people who don't know me and first time um, they join, I'm the nutritionist at Forever Living Products. And today I will talk. About, I will be talking about a very nice topic, which is summer essentials with Forever. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to be well prepared for summer, since summer uh, is around the corner. And it actually started in Dubai. I don't know if you're feeling it, but it's getting really hot uh, these days. So we're going to talk about how to protect yourself from summer, from the sun, and also what products to use um, for, for your skin and even for your whole body, like even what products to drink um, just to stay hydrated throughout this. A season. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the introduction. So temp temperature is rising and we are looking forward to longer and lazier days of summer. As we know, you know, like summer, the day will get longer. But while summer may be uh, of some relief from cold and chilly days, it may also bring along various health problems like dehydration, upset stomach, bacterial infections, heat stroke, sunburns, etc. Okay, so we need to be very careful uh, around summer, even though, you know, like, I don't know if you prefer winter or summer. Of course, maybe in Dubai, winter is nicer, but in general, um, I love the beach and I, I love summer. And I feel like everyone also uh, prefers summer over winter. Uh, then uh, restore and also, oh, okay, that is imperative to make sure you are eating the right food and exercising the right way, okay, to fitness and health. We're going to talk also about that. And then restore and replenish your skin and physical health as we suggest some amazing healthy diet tips to survive this sweltering summer this year. And here are some healthy tips for summer you must note down, okay? So make sure you take all the notes. Then you share it with your team members and we're going to talk about what products of forever you can use uh, during summer. First, uh, give winter skin the brush off. Okay, so dry air and cold temperatures can turn your skin into an itchy and flaky mess. So get it summer ready by exfoliating. Exfoliating is very important, guys. I don't know if you're exfoliating your skin. It's not only about your face, but also your whole body. Exfoliation is the first key step to rejuvenating your skin and achieving a satiny, uh, smooth look post-winter. So before going tanning, before doing anything, the first thing you need to do is start by exfoliating uh, either with the smoothing exfoliator or with the scrub. Okay, so that way uh, you will have fresh skin and you will remove all the dead cells from your body. Make sure also you're exfoliating before doing, uh, before shaving yourselves, okay? I don't know if uh, uh, you heard me saying this before, but I always repeat it. It's very important to exfoliate before shaving. That way you will not, um, you will not have ingrown hair and pimples on your skin, okay? So this is very important. It's a ni very nice tip that you can also share with your team members. So uh, you don't need to exfoliate every day, guys, okay? Or else your skin is going to be very dry. So make sure you only exfoliate uh, two times a week, okay? Two to three times a week and not more than that. So you can exfoliate uh, first thing, you know, before going to the beach and all. And also you can exfoliate whenever you have, if you get like sunburns or, uh, you know, like very dry skin, this will also help uh, remove these, like this dry skin. So this is regarding this, the aloe vera, the forever aloe scrub and the smoothing exfoliator. Uh, for me, what I recommend, for example, the smoothing exfoliator is more gentle on the skin. So for people who have, for example, skin sensitivity or eczema or, you know, like any irritation on the skin, you can use the smoothing, uh, smoothing exfoliator. Also, it's good for the face. And regarding people with normal skin type or oily, they can use the aloe scrub. Okay, so this is also a nice uh, tip. Now, the second uh, tip, for summer is of course to keep yourself hydrated. So drinking water is extremely important as it will help you rehydrate your body and it helps, uh, it helps function better. So make sure you, you drink around eight to 10 glasses of water and ensure a well hydrated body. Now, of course, it's not only about drinking water. Okay? So it's all about drinking fluids in general. Okay, So not only water, but of course, water is very hydrated and it, it gives a lot of hydration for the whole body. But of course, um, like aloe vera gel is one of the top 
hydrating things to drink in the summer. We will see this in the next slide. But also here I have other drinks that you can help that can help you actually staying hydrated. So load up on more um, body cooling foods and more hydrating foods that will keep that will help uh, your uh, keep going in this heat. Uh, that will help your body keep going in this heat. For example, eat more watermelon, uh, sesame, coconut water. Coconut water is really good uh, for hydration. Okay. Uh, as well as uh, the aloe vera. So drink it first thing in the morning when you wake up after a long uh, night of dehydration. Also eat cucumber. Uh, you can do some smoothies with cucumber, celery, uh, a bit of mint. This will really help you replenish and hydrate your whole body. Now, as I mentioned, the aloe vera gel is very, very important and it will keep you hydrated this summer. So you can keep it in the fridge, uh, you can dilute it with cold water or just warm water, whatever you guys like to drink it, however you guys like to drink it. You can add a bit of lemon to it. Um, you know, just, you can add it to smoothies. So uh, there's a lot of way to drink the aloe vera gel, but you have to, it will help you replenish your bodies because uh, it, will also, it also contains actually vitamins and minerals. So, um, and it will help your digestive system, okay? Because as I mentioned in the first slide, sometimes during summer, um, you can, if we eat foods that contain some bacteria or you get stomach upset, the aloe vera can help you with your digestive system and all, you know, uh, the negative bacteria in it. So um, yeah, it will help you also enhance nutrient absorption. So you can drink um, three to four times a day, and the minimum is to drink it twice a day. At least drink it first thing in the morning and before going to sleep. If you can drink more, then it's better. And around uh, 30 to 60 milliliters. Now, the third tip is grab seasonal fruits and vegetables. Okay, this is very important to, to eat the fruits that are in the season and also vegetables. So these days, most vegetables and fruits are available all year long. But uh, consuming seasonal foods are even like, it's even better for the vitamins and the health benefits. Okay, so always try to choose fruits and vegetables that are in the season. For example, always pick freshly harvested foods to extract best benefits they have to offer. So load up on mangoes, on plums, tomatoes, berries, watermelon, oranges, celery, etc. These are really good. Uh, and there are season for uh, during actually summer, okay, summertime. So if you can eat these, it will be perfect. Now, um, let's talk about downsizing your meal. I don't know if you noticed this, but most of the time when we when we gain weight, it's usually during winter, right? And during summer, we're actually we feel lighter. We don't feel like we want to eat a lot uh, because during like when we when we're hot when there's heat and summer actually it's, it takes longer for the stomach to digest food plus the hot weather does not really allow you to load up on too many foods okay so this is why we eat less so it is very good to have lighter meals okay rather than having heavy ones especially just one meal per day so eat small meals several times a day that are light okay so especially at night that way um Okay. So that way um, you, will, uh, you will not eat too many foods. So move over fried snacks that, يعني, try to forget, to forget fried snacks that you enjoy during winter. And now focus on uh, lighter snack options like nuts, trail mixes, seeds, fruits, etc. Now, let's uh, get into the products more in detail. So we talked about the aloe vera gel. Now we talked about the exfoliators. Now I want to talk about how to protect your skin. Okay. So protect yourself from the sun. Uh, it's very, very, guys, very important to use sunscreen. Even during winter, it's not only in summer, but in summer you have to put extra sunscreen during the day. Okay. So use sunscreen to protect yourself and your child from harmful UV rays. Applying sunscreen once in summer is not enough. 
So reapply every two hours and after being in the water or sweating, also you have to reapply. Okay, so once in the morning will not be enough during summertime. Then get your kids also dressed up in light uh, weight, light colored and cotton clo clothing, preferably with long sleeves and long pants, but of course like um, nice colors so that don't, don't wear black colors, okay, because it will attract and it will um, get like too many lights and you will feel hotter okay so just uh, keep their heads covered put some uh, cap or anything just make sure their head is covered so that they won't be dehydrated also use sunglasses that provide uv protection and last to take breaks to cool off in the shade okay so don't sit all day long in the sun okay it's not good for your skin it's not good for your um you might get some headaches you might be dehydrated so make sure uh, you take some breaks uh, to cool off in the shade. And if you're if you're swimming, make sure you put also your head in the water so that uh, it will cool off. Now, the next product we're going to talk about, this, before here, I wanted to add one thing, actually. For the other sunscreen, um, the, the SPF is 30, okay? And it's very important to apply 30 minutes before uh, get going out, all right? So apply all sunscreen 30 minutes before uh, being in, like, in contact with the sun or being outside. Even if you're just, for example, driving, uh, going from, the from your home to the mall, you have to also apply sunscreen um, in the morning and it will also protect you because sometimes even if you're in your car, the UV rays can still enter and penetrate your skin. Okay, we have a question. I will, of course, I will answer all the questions at the end, just for now, because she, uh, someone asked about the sunscreen. Uh, if applying second time sunscreen in the morning, we have to cleansing, toning, and moisturizing too? No, no need. So as long as you did all this, like you, you cleaned your face, you, you did the toning, you did the moisturizing, then you just apply once the sunscreen. And if you want to apply, reapply again, you don't need to rewash and do all this again, okay? So it's just like once... Um, you just clean your face and tone and everything once a day, and then you just reapply as much as, much as you want. Okay, uh, another question. I, I will answer all the questions in a bit. Okay, guys, just let us finish and I will get uh, to your questions. So, um, lips. So, the, why is lips very important during summer? Because as you know, uh, in summer, we will get chapped and dry lips, especially like being in the AC and then going outside, then being um, in the... UV rays and the sun, this will help, um, with, this will make us actually uh, chapped and this will give us chapped and dry lips, okay? So the aloe lips is very good for this because it contains aloe vera, it contains jojoba and beeswax. These are really, really good. Uh, they're very nice. They moisturize the, the lips and also this, they um, give a nice and smoothing effect for the lips. So um, this will be, you can, it's very small. Also, you can take it every, anywhere you go and you can just apply as much as you want. Okay. And it will really help your skin to stay moisturized or your lips. And I, I would also like to give here a nice tip that the other lips, you can also use it for under your eyes. Like if you have uh, black eyes or if uh, under your eyes, it's very like dry and wrinkly. It can actually help hydrate it. Okay. Hydrate the, the area. So this is a nice tip that you can also apply on your lips uh, under your eyes before going to bed. Now, lastly, is of course the after sun skincare. It's very, very important to use this product after being all day in the sun or being exposed to sun. Um, like, of course, the first one is the aloe vera jelly and the second is the aloe first. These two products can really help with minor burns, sunburns, and skin irritation. And I'm sure we all get this during summer, okay? So the natural power of aloe, of course, is very known to, to be the most effective treatment for healing burns. It's also important to replenish lost moisture after sun exposure. So you, you guys, you have to, this is a must, that you have to moisturize and dehydrate uh, your skin and apply sunscreen and uh, not sunscreen, I mean, moisturizer cream, especially like jelly or other furs. These are really good uh, for the skin. Now, if someone has really, really, really dry skin, I, I recommend personally the aloe vera jelly. Okay, it's really good for extremely dry skin. 
and um, can be really well absorbed by the body. So, um, okay, that was it. So we talked about several products. This is my email, this is my Insta. Um, if you'd like to uh, send me an email whenever you guys want, of course, I'd be more than happy to help you. And now let's take all the questions. So go ahead and ask your questions. Okay, we have a question here. Is, the, is this aloe sunscreen good for oily or combination skin? As the sunscreen is a bit sticky, it's texture, yes. So I got this question before. Actually, the new sunscreen, yes, the texture is a bit sticky, but because it will even it will protect your skin even more, okay, than the, the older one. So yes, um, people who have oily or combination skin, they can use it, but let like don't use a lot, okay? Reduce the quantity, so that way it will not be very sticky but it will actually give you a really good coverage and protection for your skin. Okay, another question. If someone is allergic to all sunscreen, then what to use as using sunscreen makes skin itchy? If, they, if, um, if someone's allergic to all types of sunscreen, then really they cannot do anything much, Yanni. All they have to do is just wear a cap, make sure their, their skin is not um, being you know, exposed to the sun, Okay, and UV rays, and just just apply moisturizer, and yeah, that's it. And not much we can do, you know, if they're allergic. Yeah, I will share everything from the first slide. So I had someone asked for the last slide. Okay, what to suggest to a person who has acne along with oily skin? So. Uh, someone who has acne with oily skin, I recommend, of course, the allopropolis cream. Um, they can put a bit of jelly okay, on the pimples as well after the propolis cream. And uh, just make sure they, they wash their face with a cleanser. Also apply some toner. Toner can help with oily skin. And, um, and basically, yeah, so just make sure they do like a skin routine, basically. Okay, toner will really help. And cleansing the face can help also remove dirt and oiliness from the skin. They can cleanse, for example, with the Sonia cleaner. It can really help. Okay, how to use aloe first spray on face after sun exposure? You can just apply on your hand and then uh, put it on your face, dump it on your face. But um, uh, yeah, that's it, Jenny. Usually aloe first spray is used on the body more than the face but you can still apply it on the face, but don't like uh, spray it directly on your face. Spray it on your hands first and then apply it on your face. And uh, after washing your face or after the shower, so you can apply it twice a day, okay? Twice, even three times. Uh, even if you apply more, it's, it's not a problem, but uh, the minimum is two to three times. We have a question. Would it be better to apply balancing toner before applying aloe sunscreen? Asking for oily and combination skin. Yes. The toner is, of course, used before sunscreen, okay, to close the pores. It's very important. It's a very important question. Another question. So just something for acne and acne marks on face. So for acne, I always recommend the aloe propolis cream, the B propolis uh, supplement, and of course, sunscreen all the time so that we don't have scars. And for people who have acne marks on your acne scars, they can use a little bit on the scars, the exfoliator, okay, the gentle exfoliator. Uh, then they can also do the R3 factor and always take absorbency tablets because uh, it will help form new collagen and reduce acne scars. So this is from... Okay, we have a question, purpose of R3 factor. The R3 factor can help regenerate uh, new cells. Okay, so it will like, um, it will remove dead cells and help you form new cells. So it's really important. Another question, is it important to moisturize your skin before sunscreen as forever sunscreen is thick in formula and make you feel oily? So for people who have oily and combination skin, no need to moisturize before. But for people who have dry skin, yes, it's better to moisturize than apply the sunscreen. Uh, I cannot really generalize. Each person has to try on their own skin. Okay, if you feel like you need to moisturize, then just moisturize before. If you feel like your skin is okay, doesn't need moisturizing when you apply the sunscreen, then just apply the sunscreen directly. 
um, what about the pigmentations? What to suggest? So for pigmentation, um, you know, like you can use the illuminating gel from Sonia. If you still have the epi blank, you can also use it. Uh, use the RC factor. Um, uh, the sunscreen so important just to protect your skin from the sun. Okay. And um, yeah, just, you know, do some uh, exfoliate, exfoliation twice a week. It will also help reduce pigment, pigmentation. We have another question. Is the alpha E factor suitable for oily skin too? Um, yes, so the alpha E factor is also suitable because it's really high in antioxidants, so good as a serum, but don't use it every day if you have oily skin, okay? So use it two to three times a week. Okay, another question. Since EpiBlank is not available in Oman, what can be used as a substitute? So instead of um, EpiBlank, you can use the illuminating gel from Sonia. Another question, what to use for dark spots, dear EpiBlank? Yes, you can use EpiBlank for dark spots, the, even the R3 factor, uh, aloe moisturizing lotion and uh, illuminating gel. What to suggest for people who have sweat on their face a lot? Um, so in that case, we cannot really suggest much. Okay, just make sure they tone, they, they use the toner, they wash their face regularly uh, with a cleanser, and that's it basically. Any other questions, guys? People with thyroid and PCOS usually complain that their weight is gaining after using berry nectar. Why is that so? Um, so, so, so the aloe berry nectar is, uh, contains a bit of sugar, not a lot, okay? But if you feel like they're, they're gaining weight after using it, then they should drink less. Maybe they're drinking a lot and they're gaining you know, calories from it. So just make sure they, they don't take a lot or just give them the, the yellow bottle instead. Okay, I think the yellow bottle would be more suitable, especially for thyroid and uh, PCOS. Um, also, we have another question. Solutions for irregular periods. So for irregular periods, uh, I recommend taking the Vitalize Women. Okay, but it's a very, it's a deeper issue than just, you know, taking the Vitalize Women. You need to also eat healthier. Uh, it can be a sign of hormonal imbalance. So for hormone balance, um, you need to make sure that some foods can help. Also, exercise regularly, uh, take some supplements, etc. Okay, if uterus lining is thinning with heavy bleeding, what to recommend? Um, also, the vitalized women. Now, these things, I just want to remind you guys, our supplements are not medications, okay? So they can just help with the symptoms, but it doesn't mean that it will treat it 100%, okay? So if you feel like the, there's a thinning in the uterus and you need to go check with your gyno and the gyno can give you a treatment for that. What's used for itchy skin from knuckle and knee area like psoriasis, uh, jelly or aloe propolis cream. Supplements for thyroid. So for thyroid, if you guys want, we already did a presentation and um, a whole training, so you can check it on uh, on YouTube. But I will also reply. Uh, so for thyroid, I recommend like Nature Man, the Forever Daily, the Arctic Sea. Okay, so a lot of iodine, selenium, um, magnesium is good. So these, you know, minerals that can really help balance thyroid levels. And um, yeah, also guys, if you want on my Insta, I, I post a lot about hormones and thyroid. So you can just check my highlights and see. I do some. I do talk about. I, I did talk about the thyroid, and uh, I also talk about magnesium and how it helps with the with the hormone levels. Another question: What should you recommend for menopausal and age fifty plus? So for menopausal, um, I recommend the uh, the the vitalized women. Okay, uh, multi maca can also help or the gentia, if you still have it. I know it's discontinued, but if you still have it, even royal jelly can help, okay? And um, that's it, yeah, just also you can, they can drink uh, the aloe vera gel just for normal uh, blood circulation and all. 
any supplements for dementia. So for dementia, not really. We don't that you know, we don't have something specifically for that. But for brain function in general, the ginkgo is good. The Arctic tea can help. And now we're gonna have another um, uh, supplement soon, which is called the Forever Focus. Please guide about T9 program. And now I cannot really talk about T9 just like in general because it's a very long program. Okay. So you can, you can guys check, uh, we have a detailed uh, presentation on it on YouTube, and hopefully uh, I will do also another training about C9 and F15 very soon. Okay. Both jelly and, and propolis, yes, you can add both jelly and propolis for the uh, knee. Okay, best supplements for depression and anxiety. So I recommend something with magnesium in it, like nature mint, for example. B12 can also help. Um, you know, uh, ginkgo can help boost the uh, just more the mood. Um, so just yeah, focus on these supplements. What should we do after C9? Uh, program so it depends if they still want to do if they still want to lose weight they can do the f15 okay directly or they can repeat the c9 uh, but after a while uh, it depends what they want exactly or they can just take the aloe vera gel they can take the garcinia the forever lean uh, you know so it depends exactly what do they want after the c9 if someone has to reduce 40 kg weight, what should give after C9? Yes, as I mentioned, they can continue with the FIT program. So after the clean nine, they can do the FIT 15 and until they reach their goal. Okay, so another question. C9 works first time, then few people don't reduce weight. Please shed light on it. So this is why you shouldn't do it like very often, okay? So try to do it four to five times a year so that your body don't get used to it, okay? So um, of course, the first time your body is like still doesn't know these products, so it's still new, it will shock your body. That's why you will lose weight and you will also lose water. So uh, the second time, if you still want to do the C9 or any other program, you need to exercise more so that your body will really help reduce weight, okay? This is why you need to tell your patients, your clients, or anyone, like um, your team members, they need to exercise more so that they really can feel the difference. We have a, a, a question here, different difference between uh, exfoliator and scrub so basically the exfoliator is a bit lighter okay ge more gentle on the face and on their body and the scrub like it's almost like they will give the same result but one is a bit thicker and one is a bit uh, more gentle okay which supplement will be suitable for overall maintenance of the body currently i am using vitalized women yes you can use the vitalized women the aloe vera gel i really recommend the probiotics it's really good for gut health because gut health like helps with everything. If your gut is not healthy, okay, you will not um, you will not be healthy. Make sure your gut is always healthy, your digestive system. And you can also take the Forever Daily just for a normal uh, vitamin. But since you're taking the since you're taking the Vitalized Woman, you don't need to take the Forever Daily. It's fine. So just like Vitalized Woman, the, the aloe vera gel, probiotics, and even Nature Men can help. What do you recommend for weight maintenance? For weight man maintenance, um, I recommend, of course, sometimes you can uh, alternate between the Garcinia or the Forever Lean and even the Therm. So everything related to weight management, okay? Yes, of course, you can guys, uh, you, you guys can share some of my posts, but please make sure you always tag me. Thank you. And uh, we can give C9 and, and then Fit15 too, that also contains some products. Yes, of course, for C9 and Fit15 can help with weight management. Okay, so for menopause, I recommend uh, the Roy Jelly, yes, the aloe vera, the, the vitalized women. Okay, and if uh, 
you can also, if someone has the Jinshia can help or the, multi, the, multi, the Multimacra. Okay, what do you recommend for leucoria uh, for proper treatment? What do you mean by leucoria? Leukemia or what, what is it exactly? Sorry, I'm not very familiar with this term. Okay, we have another question. Vaginal discharge is referred ah, as leucoria. Okay, vaginal discharge. Yeah. So the, uh, regarding the vaginal discharge in women, um, so basically we cannot really know, I cannot really recommend one thing because sometimes the vaginal discharge can be from yeast and sometimes it can be from bacteria. Okay, so if it is from bacteria, then, um, uh, then you need an antibiotics. It is, if it is from yeast, uh, sometimes you take also uh, uh, like a pill or something to kill the yeast, but mostly in both cases, before we get there, there you need to try to avoid uh, discharge by taking the, of course, uh, vitalized women and, and also probiotics, because sometimes there's a bad bacteria in the stomach or in the vagina because of lack of good bacteria, which is the probiotics, okay? So make sure you take vitalized women, probiotics, this will help. And just eat healthy, don't eat sugar, don't eat uh, uh, candy. This will actually make the bacteria grow more in the vagina. I will also talk about this very soon. It's a very nice topic that everyone should be aware of. But uh, and as, as we know, I'm not a doctor, so it's better to always check with the gyno first, okay, regarding the vaginal discharge. So uh, free pregnancy course, I already talked about pregnancy and uh, forever products that you can find it on YouTube. And she also has PCOS issues. So for PCOS, yeah, you can take also the, the vitalized women to have balanced hormonal levels. Okay, guys, thank you all for joining. I hope this was beneficial and we'll do another training very soon. Okay, so, so please stay um, alert on Insta, on Facebook and everything. And um, every, everything you guys need, I'm here to help you. Have a lovely afternoon and see you very soon. Bye-bye.